Welcome, everyone. We are about to get started. We've got a special stream tonight. Uh, normally, Sunday is a co-op night, but my co-op partner can't make it out. So we are going to play some Wing Commander, a game from 1990, one of my favorites growing up as a kid. It is currently the DOS Game Club's Game of the Month for September. Uh, DOS Game Club, I highly recommend if you are into retro games on the PC. They play a different game every month and discuss it. Uh, you can find them on Twitter at DOS Game Club. And they have a website, I believe it's just dosgameclub.com. You can check them out. Anyway, Wing Commander is their September game of the month. One of my absolute favorites as a kid. And I've actually played it for Extra Life before, for my big 24-hour marathon. I believe it was the, the first year I did Extra Life, I played Wing Commander. Uh, and I definitely have not played it since then, because when you play a game straight through from start to finish, when you're sleep-deprived, you don't feel like revisiting it too quickly. <laughs> Regardless, we're going to play it again today. I've got my trusty joystick and we'll get started let me just launch it here okay so wing commander came with an initial campaign uh, and there were also two expansion packs for it the secret Miss missions and the secret missions 2 we definitely will not get to either of those tonight, so we're just going to launch the first one for the basic game. Here we go. So the conceit of Wing Commander is Chris Roberts, the guy that created it, basically wanted to do a science fiction game that was the World War II Pacific Theater only in space. Uh, so we will have a carrier called the Tiger's Claw, which we live on, and we will be flying Fighters, space fighters. And yeah, it, it's the Pacific C Theater in space. So uh, we'll be attacking other carriers. There will be fighters coming to attack our carriers. There will be transports we need to protect. Uh, it, it's literally just the, the Pacific Theater in space and we are a pilot so we're going to start the vega campaign because that is the beginning of the storyline we start in a little simulator here there will be space cats yes uh so uh we're not fighting the japanese we are fighting the kill rathi now the kill rathi are basically giant bipedal cats um and they're mean like cats too so humanity's been at war with them for a decade or so at this point if i'm remembering right and yeah they're just big mean space cats they seem to uh they definitely they definitely have a, a bit of a hunting for sport thing going on that that cats have uh they enjoy the war uh although there are there are definitely some people that enjoy the war that that is not generally the perception of it from humanity's perspective but it seems like the Kilrathi genuinely do enjoy the fighting uh and we start out in the bar here and the bar is sort of where you get your storyline information in between missions. So you're going to always have Shot Glass, who's the bartender. He's a retired pilot. 
uh, and you're going to have two of your fellow pilots at the table here, and you can talk to all of them every time. There's a little simulator here if you want to fly training missions. You got the kill board here. So you can see I'm at the bottom of the kill board now. I've flown zero missions and I have zero kills. And hopefully we're going to climb up here as we go. And yeah, let's let's just talk to people, see where we're at at the moment. This is shot glass. No voice acting in 1990. Too bad, too bad. So shot glass will basically give us advice about the other pilots most of the time. Uh, depending on how well we do in the missions, this campaign actually branches. So the storyline can be different in Wing Commander, depending on how well I do. Uh, and Shot Glass will always have a, a good evaluation of how well the war is going, too. So let's talk to Paladin here. His thing is that he's Scottish. And yes, <laughs> every pilot on the Tiger's Claw is basically a national stereotype. So Paladin likes to tell a lot of war stories. Uh, and they're actually generally pretty useful because he'll tell you how the AI pilots fly. So the selfie came zooming in with the sun at their backs. This is Angel. Her thing is that she's French. So here's some good information. When we run into selfie fighters, they're always going to turn to the left. Okay, what does Angel have to say? I am called Jellybean. I would love to know what you've learned, Angel. Okay, we're going to learn about another Kilrathi fighter, the Drowthy. <laughs> it's hard to suspend your disbelief. The French, maybe. Very useful. Seven direct laser hits to destroy a Duralfi fighter. Very useful. So here are the barracks, uh, which is actually where we save our game. So, uh, we have to click on the person's feet to save the game, and we, uh, we click on their face to load our game uh we can go and view our medals at all times so we can see our rank and what medals we've earned uh what system we're in we uh, go out the airlock to exit the game and we go in here to get our mission briefing so let's actually do some flying So we start in the Killer B squadron. We're going to be flying Hornet fighters. Only a few leaks, Duke. We're going to be flying with Spirit.
so they'll show us a map, where we have to go, what we have to do. So we're gonna have to fly through some asteroids, which is probably the worst thing in this game aside from escort missions. waypoint here as the white cross we can actually change our destination what waypoint we want to go to first uh, sometimes I like to run the waypoints backwards because often they will have the biggest fights at the end so that you're all weakened and beat up so we're just gonna run it backwards there's nothing time sensitive going on in this mission if we were doing some sort of escort or had to meet someone to protect them, I would do them in order. Uh, but because this is just a patrol mission, we can take them in any order we want. And I'm going to go backwards through because that's just going to be a lot easier. And we're going to hit autopilot because it's going to take a really long time to fly there if we don't. And it'll drop us out when we get close. Okay, we got enemy ships ordered her to break an attack. They look like Selfie. Just rammed that one. Not ideal. One thing that's interesting about this game is that your wingmen can actually die. There will even be a funeral sequence for them. It's very sad. Nice job, spirit. Where's that waypoint? Slow down a little bit. Where are we on the map? Okay, so there's some asteroids we're kind of skirting around. I ran that guy head on, so I'm kind of damaged. And it looks like there are going to be some more asteroids at nav point two. Try not to run into any asteroids. I gotta fix this lag problem. Anyway, you get to watch your own funeral too if you die. It's sad to lose a pilot. So young. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do... So I'm going to adjust my settings here. And 
we are going to come back to this because my DOS box settings are not quite working for me. I'm just going to tweak them a little. Bear with me here. And try and set it to auto CPU cycles. See, the way a lot of old DOS games worked, uh, including Wing Commander, is that the speed the game ran was actually just based on how fast your computer was. And they sort of came out at the right time for it to work. But later, more modern computers, we have to do some tweaking to get the game to run right. Uh, and DOSBox, which is what I use to play DOS games on here, uh, it tries to do its best. Uh, but sometimes you got to tweak the computer speed settings. And hopefully, I have solved the issue. It's not going to blast at a million miles per hour. Just going to skip that. Okay. Continue, because we do have a saved game. Do our mission briefing again. Skip the whole thing. Still not looking great, folks. Oof. Give me a moment. Think if I Nope, I froze it. Technical difficulties, folks. Sorry about this. This was a last minute game swap, so I'm just getting things figured out. Try this again. Hmm. That looks a little smoother. <laughs> Maybe too smooth. We'll see. Whoops. I have to go. Load our game. Try this again. This looks a little better. I'd be a little faster than the game was originally supposed to be played, but... It's feeling snappier.
right, that noise is gonna drive me nuts. Ugh. Okay, that's not working for me. Backup plan. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is play a different game. But we're also going to play a Wing Commander game. You're going to play Wing Commander Privateer. Because I have been playing that, and I do know it'll work. Let me just update my stream info here. All right, we're switching to Wing Commander Privateer because that was too much of a headache. Wing Commander Privateer. Um, it's set in the same universe, uh, and you're just some dude trying to make money. Here we go. <laughs> Take two. Or three, if you count the other aborted start. Always software problems. So yeah, we're sort of on the frontier. Oh no. And what is it, huh? Is it a smuggler far off the normal space lane? <laughs> Maybe a bad smuggler with some nice contraband. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I'm just a tourist with a frag nav console. Could you tell me where I am? Deep in trouble, little tourist. Prepare to be boarded. Not a chance, pal. Prepare to go to hell. <laughs> some really great high-level writing and voice acting. Uh, what I really love about this intro uh, is it makes it look like your starting ship is absolutely amazing. It's not. It's going to suck at the beginning of the game. We can't do any of this. Who are you that flies so good? Are you insane? No, <laughs> it's just got a load of cargo in the hold and a load of bills to pay at home. And I the same. You shouldn't kill me just for attacking you. I don't mind that you tried to kill me, but protecting myself against your type gets expensive, and I'm on a budget. We will be on a budget, that's true. Oh no, we accidentally hit something weird. That's it. That's that's the intro. Uh, we're going to start a new game here. Call sign Jelly Bean. I'm a little bit of a jerk. Uh, but you know, I got bills to pay. So this is the landing pad. Uh, every planet we go to or, or space station has a landing pad and it's got a main concourse where we can do a bunch of stuff. And the absolute first thing we need to do is go to the ship dealer. We need to swap out some of our parts uh, because the way the ship is outfitted at the beginning of the game is absolutely useless. So we're going to sell our laser cannon. We're going to sell our missile launcher. And we are going to buy ourselves two torpedo launchers. 
Stick that on the ship. There we go. And we want Mizon Blasters. One of those on there. The second one on there. And now we gotta actually buy torpedoes for our torpedo launcher. And we're all set for the beginning of the game. Um, what else? So yeah, we can we can customize our ship. We can buy different weapons for it, uh, better armor. Yeah, it's horrible. It's really horrible. Uh, I believe it's called an Orion. Uh, we can also buy upgraded software for it, uh, which will be really important. Uh, right now, our targeting system won't actually be able to determine what ships are friendly and what ships are hostile. Uh, so we're going to have to play it real safe so that we don't tick off the various factions. Uh, later, we're going to be able to buy... Uh, better a Taurus I think our ship's called a Taurus we can buy an Orion uh, later we're going to be able to uh, afford uh, a better targeting system but for now not so much so we're going to save this one uh, yeah so we're going to go to the Merchants Guild hi how are you I'd like to invite you to join our guild he wants us we to join the Merchants the Guild reputable clients that means we guarantee your work and your compensation. The Merchant's Guild primarily schedules cargo runs, but we also place big bounties on pilots that attack our own members. It will only cost you 1,000 credits to join our ranks. How and about I it? I think we've got enough money left over to do it. Great! We will automatically debit the service fee from your current banking system. The Merchant's Guild appreciates your business. Thanks for joining. You'll be glad you did. So what joining the Merchants Guild does is we're going to get better prices on the cargo that we sell. Uh, and we're also going to have access to missions for the Merchant Guild. And we're just going to check them right here. So every time you land, there are a number of missions you can pick up. And we're just going to see if there's anything worth taking right now. Uh, that wants us to go to New Detroit. We, we're in the Troy system right now. And it's really dangerous for to leave, us to leave the Troy system at this stage with our ship looking the way it does. So we're not going to take any missions that take us outside of the Troy system. Uh, it's another one that could be outside the system. That's an outside the system. Okay, so the Merchant's Guild doesn't have any missions that are useful for us right now. So we're going to check the other mission computer. Which is just general missions. Okay. So. Retro ships at nav point five. So retros. They are CDs. This is the future, Duke. <laughs> no floppy disks in the future. Uh, yeah, retros are a weird religious cult that are kind of like Luddites, uh, where they want to smash up all technology, and they're not afraid to use technology to smash up other technology. So basically, they just, like, lurk around and they kill anyone who is flying a spaceship. Uh, they're not nice, but we'll, we'll accept that mission. We'll take that one and we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. Save our game again. They must. They want to return to the glory days of floppies. Okay, so let's go and try and accomplish this mission. <clears throat> so it looks like there are hostile ships right here already, which is awesome. They're just pirates waiting for people to take off. And as you can see, all the ships on my radar 
are gray, because I can't tell which ones are hostile and which ones aren't. So I have to guess based on who's shooting at me. Thankfully, when you get attacked outside a base, other ships will try and help you. Let's see if we can see this guy's shields. There we go. Yeah, so someone's helping me try and kill this guy. Already wasted a couple torpedoes on him. Got him. Someone is shooting at me from behind. No? Okay. Thought someone was shooting at me. Alright, now we can go to nap point five. Whoops. Half point five. Uh, we could do autopilot just like in Wing Commander 1. Our ship is really slow and terrible. Okay. So that's probably the retro we have to hunt down. Yeah, you shoot at us. I am such a good shot. Heathen, taste the purifying fire of the Lord. <laughs> no, thank you. So he's got an afterburner, likely, which is why he's able to zip away from me that quickly. Deliver us, O Lord, for we are in need. <laughs> Turn around, come back. Got him. Anyone else around? Doesn't look like. So we can return to any station in the system turn in our mission. Actually, I don't believe we even need to turn in the mission. Uh, it'll just automatically give the money to our account. So we'll land on this planet and we will see what missions are available. But we should have gotten paid for killing that retro. Now entering an automatic landing zone. missions finances yeah we got paid what else is available uh, we do not want to do a defend base mission that sounds terrible 
It's a cargo mission to another system, so we're not going to take that. Uh, patrol mission. Not super fun because we have to go five different waypoints to get paid. All right, scout mission. Go to nav point three. Easy. Grave insult against the honor of Azuma weapons demands retribution. Okay, kill a pirate at nav point two. All right, let's see if the Merchant's Guild has anything for us. Check those CDs. Cargo mission to another system cargo mission to another system cargo mission to another system and cargo mission to another system uh, when we are able to travel between systems when we're, we're equipped enough for that we'll be able to go to the commodity exchange we'll be able to uh, do some uh, wheeling and dealing. Basically, you find where stuff's cheap, and you bring it to where stuff's expensive, and you sell it there. Uh, but right now, what we have to do is do any repairs that are necessary. Oh, yeah. Lots of repairs. Okay, we're going to refill our torpedoes. Since we used a few of those, seven. They're cheap, though. Just can only carry 20 at a time. Any software repairs? Nothing needs to be repaired. That's good. Save our game again. Check our missions. So we have to go to nap point three. And now point two, I believe. Yeah. Okay. There's the landing pad. Here we go. So. Yeah, it, I should say computer system repairs. Uh, it's the software shop, but it's it's for your actual computer systems, not necessarily just the software. So uh, if my targeting sensor gets damaged, I have to go there to get it repaired. Uh, the software itself doesn't get repaired. Like if I if I've bought map data, my map data never actually gets damaged. It's only the actual like electronic components. It's just in the shop where you buy the software. Nap point three first. I see him. Ooh. That is a kill Raffi. This could be a tough fight. Not expecting to fight a Kirathi here. Continue on to the nab point. So this is a jump point uh, in the Wing Commander universe. Uh, faster than light travel is not possible, but we cheat with wormholes. Uh, and we do this at things called jump points, which are basically places where it's easy to uh, 
stretch open a wormhole that's pre-existing. Uh, you need a jump drive on your ship to be able to do it. And they only go to a particular destination. So this is the, it's the jump to the Pendar star system. It's exactly like Stellaris. But you know, uh, like what scientists think about wormholes today, uh, they're very small. Uh, and so you need special technology to widen them up and keep them stable enough for your ship to actually get through. Uh, I do not have a jump drive on this ship yet. Okay. Here's our pirate, or retro, or whatever he is. I don't know. My nav computer's not good enough. Yeah, physics is weird. Got him with the torpedo. So let's just dock. See what kind of cash we got. Refill our torpedoes, pick up some new missions. Yeah, I can spin. Usually no point to doing it, but... Now entering an automatic landing zone. And down we go. And it looks like we accomplished all our missions. And we got paid. That's a good reason to save our game. At the hangar, we want to go to the ship dealer, do any repairs. So it looks like our armor got damaged a little bit, and that's it. No computer systems need to be repaired. Refill our torpedoes. Okay. Now, we got a little bit of cash right now. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to buy the engine upgrade. So the engine upgrade will provide more power to my systems. Uh, my shields will recharge faster. Uh, my weapons will recharge faster. Just makes everything in general better. Before I start buying better weapons and afterburners and all sorts of computer systems. Upgrading the engine will just give me a, a nice power base to draw on because you, you really don't want to have all these energy sucking components and not actually be able to generate the power for them. It's really annoying to have to wait and wait and wait for your guns to recharge when someone is shooting at you. Check for missions. Big bucks. Pirate presence at Nav 1. Uh, you know, 3,700 is not big bucks, but I will take the mission. Nav 2. See, that's better. Search and destroy retro ships at Nav 2. Nav 5. Sure. Alright, that's enough for now. So we've got missions to go to Nav 1. Nav 2, and Nav 5. Save our game before we go out. Here we go. And we got someone trying to attack us already. Nice. Yo! 
So that was Nav 2, that was one of our missions. We were already at Nav 2. So now we can go to Nav 1. Very slowly. Our big blocky ship. These guys like to come head on, which makes them really easy to fight. So you just dodge around their shots and get them while their weapons are recharging or when they turn around. Of that torpedo. Got him. Continuing on my way. Gotta go to nav five. Like I said, they try and attack head on. Waste all their energy firing guns on you. And then they can barely shoot it all after that initial first volley. Sometimes retros try and ram you though, which is kind of annoying. Ooh, he punched through my shields there. Just being a torpedo. Deliver us, O oh Lord, for we are in need. <laughs> Got him. We're close enough to the nav point that we can't use autopilot to go the rest of the way. Two. Right. 
let's go to this mining station here and see what missions they have for us. Prepare to be searched. Maintain speed and course. No That's... contraband detected. You may proceed. Yeah, so if we were smuggling contraband, uh, sometimes the local militias will give us a hard time. Now, you can make a lot of money smuggling contraband, but it can be a situation. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Let's land then. See what kind of bucks we got paid. Excellent. Save our game. Do the routine. Do all our repairs. Check if our computer systems need to be repaired. Nothing, that's good. We got a little bit of money left over. So what I want to buy is the better armor, which is tungsten, but we have to sell our plasteel armor first. Okay, so we've got the better armor. Can't afford a better shield generator yet. We'll buy our afterburner, I guess. Which is helpful. Anything else we should buy? Yeah, there's the jump drive. We don't have one, it costs 10,000 bucks. It's basically the last thing I'm gonna buy for this thing. ECM is for when you're dealing with missiles. Cargo expansion is pretty straightforward. We can store more stuff in our ship. Uh, no, the next big purchase we're going to do is I want to get, uh, yeah, 50,000 bucks is what it's going to cost. I want that hunter scanner system, which will give me the ability to tell friend from foe when I'm out in space, which is really good. I don't have to wait until people are shooting at me to figure out if they're hostile or not. What kind of missions have we got? So that one's multi-system. I don't want to do it. That's another system. I don't want to do it. Okay, pirate ships at nav six. I'll take that mission. Retros at nav eight. I'll take that mission. All right, that's good. See if the merchant's guild has anything for me. Check these CDs. Need to go to another system for that. Need to go to another system for that. That's another system. That's another system. Now you see that these actually pay really well, but we're not quite ready to do them yet. So save our game. So we have to go to nav six and nav eight. Out we go. Prepare to be searched. Maintain yeah, speed that's and fine, course. That's fine. No contraband detected. You may proceed. So, Nav 6 looks like the closest. Destroy pirate ships. Ooh, there's a bunch. Okay. Looks like they might be attacking. Yeah, they're attacking.
They're attacking a cargo ship. Let's see if we can get some goodwill. someone must have looked like there was another target there but I think we're okay could just be my Yeah, I'm guessing my computer's damaged is what that's about. See that little uh, blip on my radar? There's that guy, but there's another uh, dot that's wandering around, but I don't think it's real. That's damaged uh, targeting computer. Oh, that was only at NAV 5 that happened. All right. I thought that was our mission. We were just good Samaritans, I guess. yet. All right, let's head to some base so we can land and repair. Entering an automatic landing zone. We're gonna land. Check our bank account. Looking good. See what it looks like after we repair.
reload our torpedoes. Good stuff. What kind of missions? We've got a cargo mission that goes to another system, so we won't take it. Another one. Right, Nav 7 patrol. Kill some retros at Nav point 2. All right, that's it. Here we go again. Looks like there is someone out to get us. Hit us with the missile. <laughs> We're hurting. He's hurting more though. Automatic landing zone. I really don't want to land. If you're fighting close to a base, you can actually end up landing by accident. was the nav point two mission we were already at nav point two what do we got here we're fine we're fine totally cool when your com your spaceship's computers are doing that Got him. box for what we need to accomplish in this mission. There we go. Now we should be able to head to a base. So we did seven. We did two. All right. Let's go land and repair this computer. Now entering an automatic landing zone. And we're gonna land. Make 
sure our missions got accomplished. That's good. Got lots of money to repair our ship. really wish I could get that targeting system that would make life so much easier. Halfway there. Alright, I will be back. I've got to refill my water. Back shortly, folks. And we're back. Let's see what kind of missions we've got here. High pay, high risk. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, thank you. That is uh, the Overland map music from Dragon Warrior 1 on the NES. All right, we're being attacked already. Not yet. We'll see. Get 
out of here. Okay. So we just got jumped big time. Uh, so we've got to land and make repairs immediately. Oh yeah, our shields are completely out. Our afterburners and thrusters are damaged big time. Yeah, so targeting is the only thing that's not damaged. Now entering an automatic landing zone. This is gonna be expensive. I wonder if that was actually one of the missions. No. <laughs> no, we just got ambushed. Lawless this place. Okay, refill our torpedoes because I used a whole bunch there. Perfect. Let's try this again. So got three nav points to go to let's just go from top to bottom prepare to be searched maintain speed and course no That's contraband cool. detected you may proceed but like there are bad guys here are you gonna help me with the bad guys or you're just hitting people up Probably looking for bribes. Okay, so this is now point seven. This guy's probably hostile. Might not have a targeting computer that can tell me, but the music gets more dramatic when someone's shooting at me. Dump your cargo before you blow, will ya? You're misreading the situation, buddy. He's looking pretty rough. Just need 
need to land a few more hits through. Damn, you're ripping me apart! That's the idea. Okay, that takes care of him. Continuing on. Uh, point eight next. Let's see who's waiting for us there. Got a couple. Die by the very weapons you adore. Okay, so that's clearly a retro. Heathen, taste the purifying fire of the Lord. <laughs> I'm back. Good hit. Just ate a missile. What's our damage look like? Not too bad, not too bad. Looks worse than it is. Standard Star Trek style control panel explosion. Nothing to worry about. Alright, we got one more to do. Torpedoes were the right choice there. Hopefully it's not going to be too expensive to fix all this. Mining outpost is the closest place we can get some repairs. Hum, hum. I mean, I now suppose I could an automatic landing zone. afterburner towards the asteroid. Okay, check our missions. Looks like we accomplished them all. We got paid. 
Let's make some repairs. That's eaten through our money. Refill our torpedo launchers. Okay, our sensors need to be repaired too. All right, that really ate a good chunk of our money. Well, what are we going to tackle next, folks? You've got a bounty mission, uh, but it might be intersystem, so we're going to skip it. Okay, attack retros at nav point eight. I can do that. Okay, that's in another system, so I'm not going to do it. Tackle that one. That's going to another system. Or two base in the Troy system. Where is that supposed to be? space. Uh, I'm not going to do the defend base mission. That sounds a little tedious. But we'll blow up a bunch more retros. Away we go. Deliver us, O Lord, for we are in need. I don't think he helped. Okay, that point four is a mining base. Let's go there and get some repairs. Prepare to be searched. Maintain speed and course. That's no fine. contraband detected. You may proceed. I'm a law abiding citizen so far. Now 
entering an automatic landing zone. Check our bank account. Excellent. Building up a nice little nest egg. <laughs> yeah, you know, the beginning really is. You, you gotta... <laughs> Well, you know, if in real life you could uh, just go out and kill religious fanatics for money, uh, it might be a little bit easier. Uh, <laughs> but that's frowned upon, apparently, so I have to do it in video games. And yes, it very much is like a job. Uh, these early stages are really about uh, familiarizing yourself with how the game plays and just building up a little bit of money so that you can do some fun stuff we don't really have any options at this stage um later we'll be able to decide you know do we want to become a pirate and attack cargo ships and make them drop their cargo do we want to become a mercenary and take combat jobs all over the place do we want to just be a regular merchant and take cargo from one place to another? And, you know, there's a whole other game there with regard to what cargo you buy to sell where. Uh, but right now, we're, we're kind of poor. We're kind of desperate. It's not a good situation. Let's see what missions we got available. So we got pirates at that point seven. It's going to pay less than 3,000, but I'll take the job anyway. Uh, that's in another system, so I'm going to skip that one. Pirates at that point five. That one doesn't pay a lot either. Hostiles of an undetermined type at that point three. I'll take that. Uh, I think I'm already at Achilles, so I'm just going to accept that mission. We're going to save our game because we're probably going to get attacked as soon as we launch. And let's see how we do. Here we go. Hey, welcome to the stream, you skedaddle. We are fighting cultists and pirates. This crate's about to explode. He was right. All right. That looks like everyone here. Next mission. All these pixels are going to get blown up. Okay, what was the mission supposed to be here? Just go to Nav 5, alright. I'm not turning off my targeting computer. That's a sucker move.
Okay, next. Let's go to nav point three. <laughs> November 6th. dollar afterburner way back to the nav point and then where are we going next looks like nav point seven You're about to suck void, buddy. Not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, Goose is extra lazy today. on that side. Switch to my other launcher. Okay. Only got a little beat up. It's our damage report. Tiny bit of damage to everything. Is that it? That's all our missions? Okay. Uh, looks like Helen is our nearest base, so we are going to head there for some much needed repairs. Oh, we got enemies here too. Just gonna afterburner behind them. We can go land.
Now entering an automatic landing zone. Okay. Let's fix everything up. Oof. Got pretty sad. Any computer damage? Yep. Almost have enough money for that targeting computer I've had my eye on. So let's see if there are any missions that will get me the money to get it. Uh, I'd love to take a shipload of dogs to the new Detroit system, but I'm going to try and stay in Troy for now. Uh, okay, that's another intersystem mission. Defend Hector. Sure. And Achilles. All right, I'll defend Hector and Achilles. I feel like I'm Ulysses. Here we go. And I think, where are we? We're at Helen. <laughs> uh, we want to go to Achilles first. Okay, where are you? There you are. Again, we're going to try an afterburner behind them. <laughs> That initial opening lick is usually where they try and get you. you waste all their energy on it. yet I was just on the way to the board. welcome to the happy hunting grounds <laughs> All right. here we go This guy's on our side, he's helping. That guy's helping. So it looks like we successfully defended Achilles. So now we're off to Hector. out of torpedoes. I must not have bought torpedoes last time I was in the base. Not great. Ooh, who's shooting me? So this 
guy's already tangling with one of the base defenders. Which means he doesn't see me. One more for the resume. Okay. Looks like that's it. Defended both the bases. And I'll just land here because we're here. Kablam. We need to buy more torpedoes. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Okay, looks like we completed those missions successfully. Do our repairs and maybe, maybe we'll have enough money for that targeting computer. Depends on how much money I have to spend on repairs. Cutting it close. Buy my torpedoes before I forget. Okay, now we're gonna buy our targeting computer that I really wanted. We'll actually be able to see which targets are friendly and which targets are hostile. No room for item, right. So we have to sell our current targeting computer first. And that probably would have been good to know because we would have been able to afford this thing way earlier. Okay. Anyway, targeting computer is upgraded. Uh, and we've got 20,000 bucks to spare. Uh, let's upgrade our shields if we can afford it. Not quite. All right. Yeah, this game is a little bit like homework. I feel like I should crack out Excel and start some spreadsheets. All right. More jobs. I'm looking for work. I don't want to patrol five nav points. I will go to nav point one. Uh, I will defend Hector. I think I might be at Hector right now. Okay. Up we go. Try out our new nav computer. Oh, look how fancy it is. There's a little red dot that shows it's hostile. It's amazing. Now entering an automatic landing zone. I don't actually want to land. Get out of here. Hold still, please. Red is bad. It's not all shades of gray anymore. Now I get to go to nap point one. And there doesn't appear to be anything here. Afterburner really doesn't make me go that much faster. Okay, that's that, I guess. Oh, we got a hostile target. There's red.
Oh, we got a missile lock. Entering an automatic landing zone. That's cool. Go get some repairs. Buy more torpedoes. got here so I wonder how much I could sell my old shield generator for perfect I can upgrade my shield generator And that's going to drain my energy a little bit more when we're out in space. But it's a good trade-off. Okay. This wants me to patrol five nav points for 10,000 bucks. I don't know how I feel about that. Take this one to kill something at nav seven. Defend Helen. Sure, and I'll patrol all five waypoints. Whatever. We've got better shields now. We can do anything. So we're at Achilles. Out into space. Okay, so basically we've got a whole swath of places to go to. All these uh, nav points in red are places we have missions. If you're smart, you'll watch your back. What if I'm not smart? Yep, my energy definitely drains faster now. Come on, hurry up. 
are you shooting? Should probably help them instead of getting target fixated, but... Deliver us, O oh Lord, for we are in need. Let me know how that works out. Okay. What's this other guy doing? Deliver us, O Lord, for we are in need. Yeesh. up four torpedoes. Zip across and defend Helen. So we got one fighter to take care of. Taunt it. Die by the very weapons you adore. <laughs> Come back, friends. Helen in Troy. Maybe later we'll go see what's happening with Hector. Swing past Achilles. Closer. Perfect. Continue this patrol. Who are you? 
We got a few. Maybe I was just fending off some would-be rescuers. more navigation points to check out. Looks like this one is clear. It's a friendly ship. I can tell because it's blue. Few friendly ships. One last stop on this patrol. Nav point five. What's going to be waiting for me? Friendlies. just about do it for our patrol. Zip down to Hector. Land and collect our money. Oh, we've got hostiles. Two hostiles. shot with that torpedo. Only got 10 left. Come on, I just want to land. I'm not even carrying any cargo. It's the ironic thing here, I thought pirates were supposed to care about cargo. Okay. Now let's land. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Okay, missions are all accomplished, money's in the bank account, repair everything, oh nothing to repair, those new shields worked out for us, that's great. Alright, well that's the end of my stream for the night, thanks everyone for joining me. This has been 
A little bit of Wing Commander and a lot of Wing Commander Privateer. We had a bit of a rocky start with some technical difficulties, but this one worked out. I have been schlepping around the Troy system trying to make some money. Uh, and that's about it. Nothing really exciting has happened. But it's been a fun time, and I appreciate everyone coming out to watch. I stream solo on Tuesdays and generally stream cooperatively with another streamer on Wednesdays and Sundays. Jeremy couldn't make it out tonight, so I was just playing some Wing Commander Privateer on my own instead. Wednesday we should be playing a little bit of Descent, uh, which will be fun if you don't get motion sick. It won't be fun if you do. Um, <laughs> but it should be a good time. Year-round, I am raising money for Extra Life, which is a charity that works with Children's Miracle Network hospitals to get kids and their families uh, all the needed care and help that we can give them. Uh, it's a really cool charity in that it connects gamers with these Children's Miracle Network hospitals and doesn't skim any money off the surface. So any money you donate to me, you can see my fundraising page below. Uh, any money you donate goes directly to the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children, which is my local Children's Miracle Network hospital. I really appreciate if you donate. And as you can see, also slightly less below me, my Extra Life 24-hour marathon is coming up uh, November 6th in the evening I will start streaming for 24 hours and fundraising the entire time I will be playing a game from 1990 called Eye of the Beholder you can check out my Extra Life fundraising page for some more info about that it should be a really fun time uh, I will be using graph paper to map a dungeon as I explore it. Uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. It's very old school. It's a lot of fun. And it's a really good cause. Uh, this year, I'm sure everyone is aware, hospitals are stretched a little thin. So everything you can donate counts. Every little bit is helpful. And if you can't donate, I do appreciate if you come out, talk with me, keep me awake during this whole 24-hour thing. Should be a really fun time. I hope to see everyone there. And once again, thanks everyone for tuning in tonight. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their evening. Night all.